Hey, it's Scotty. Well, it's been a couple weeks since I lost Piggy Smalls, and it's time to find Dice a friend. So I have these three foster boys that have been waiting here for a long time, and there's still really no space at the rescue. And there's so many piggies still in shelters that uh, are in danger, uh, are not getting the best care. And so even though my piggies, my fosters, you know, I wish they all had even bigger cages, I know that they're safe. I know that they're getting the care that they need. So let's see if one of these three boys will bond with Dice. So we're gonna do the bonding in this cavy cage. This is a two by three awesome CNC cage. And I thought since it's June that I would use this really beautiful rainbow fleece. And I just wanna say happy Pride Month to everybody. And uh, let's see if we can find Dice a friend. So this water wind noise you're hearing, this is the swamp cooler. It is, uh, gosh, like 106 today out here in the desert. But here in the animal room, it's 74 degrees. There's a nice breeze in here and everybody's happy. So let's get this going. BB is going to be the referee and I gotta get some fleece to wrap my hand. I wanted to do shrimp first because he's been here the longest. So I have a big blanket. Now you never want to do these bondings without wrapping your hand because the instinct is to just put your hand in between a fight. So, wow, look at this already being weird. In a good way. Guinea pig bondings. Oh, they're already shaking hands. So I'm gonna remove this first and then we'll put it back in later. And I'm gonna put a little bit of hay Here you go, boys. Look at them side by side, trusting each other. And I'm gonna turn this fan, which is an evaporative cooling fan, so that it's blowing on them a little bit. Piggies have a tendency to overheat even at regular temperatures. What do you think, BB? Okay. Close the door. There goes BB. Now, I don't want this to be a really long, long, long video. If you are into bonding videos and I find them fascinating. I find every bonding to be an individual thing. But if you really do, ah, ah, ah. But I, I have to look very closely for tooth chattering because I can't hear it as well. But you can usually see them vibrating and their mouths chit chattering. Wow. So those that's what you would consider a nose punch. Dice is being very diplomatic, although you can see his fur is fluffed up. Um, I chose shrimp first, not because I thought he would be the most um, successful, but really out of a loyalty to the fact that he's been here at my house for a year waiting for a home, waiting to get into the rescue. I filled out a form he's still a couple months away hey don't chew on that don't chew on the tag so hopefully he will eventually get into the rescue if, if this doesn't work 
but and this isn't bad so far because although if if shrimp won't calm down then dice is going to have to get more extreme rather than just this nose punching so i need to be ready but if you do find this fascinating i have an entire bonding playlist and I have also on my care guide a bonding section. What's that? You got a little, that looks like a BB fluffy feather. So I have a bonding section with uh, some very specific videos that I thought are important. And then there's even more bonding videos in the bonding playlist. There's actual bonding sessions and then there's also videos about bonding. And remember, I'm a broken record with this, but it's only about a 20% chance that any two boys will get along. And some people come to the rescue and they go through five play dates and then five fights and then they have to come back. Gary had so many uh, bonding play dates and he just is relentless when it comes to just he wants to hump every piggy now shrimp is trying to be very dominant and dice is, seems very chill this is almost the same kind of thing that happened when shrimp and Bengal were together But you can see how chill Dice is. Dice would just rather eat. Now I have three boys that I can try. And if they get along for a little while in here, I can put them in the full cage. And then if they fight, then Shrimp can just go back. But... I want to keep them in here for a little while longer until I know if they can actually get along. The next stage, so they have basically survived this first stage. It is totally normal for piggies to want to hump, to want to, um, <laughs> this is funny because Dice is like, how can I hide from this guy? At a certain point, they usually do want to eat. And is Dice able to uh, be comfortable? He does not like... And let's actually keep an eye. Does Dice do any humping behavior? Not really. So I'm going to push this air even more on them. so that they don't overheat. Oh, this is nice. Right, it's about 75 degrees on the other side of the fan. And this fan has cool water. That's why it's called an evaporative fan. I hope the wind doesn't make the sound weird. So when you guys go through this at home, actually what shrimp is doing is normal. And uh, if it's all about chemistry. So there is a situation where Dice himself would be more humpy, but in this arrangement, he doesn't want to be. But if I guarantee you, if I put like a baby there, he would be. This is like make or break time. So what this does is it creates interaction. It gives them something to fight over. It gives them something strategically to move around. And you say, well, why, is, why do you want that? Well, guinea pigs have houses in their enclosures, in their cages. And so our goal right now is not to pacify them 
it is to build trust. So we want to build trust. That's why we put hay in there. We, but if they're gonna fight, they're gonna fight. If I if I think oh they're getting so well because getting along so well because I've bonded them, and then I put them in the cage and they start fighting like in the middle of the night, then they weren't really bonded. They were just being pacified during their play date. So that's why we change it up. Shrimpy, you should eat some hay. Yes, eat some hay. So, you know what? I can set the video up here and we can do a little time lapse as uh, video space allows.
so I'm actually pretty amazed that they've gotten along this well. I think uh, we might as well just put them in Dice's cage right now. So I just cleaned out the fleece pads. So what you're going to see here is a couple chunks of the time lapse. And this is sped up four times as fast. And I'm just going to show a couple chunks from about a 30 minute time period. And what you see is you see they graze, they eat food, they give each other space, and then they interact, they chase each other a little bit. Um, and one of the things that I noticed here, <laughs> it's so much fun to watch, especially at high speed, is that you see that there is an interplay between dice and shrimp, and they're both kind of giving and taking and both humping. And then they both seem to calm down and give each other space and the freedom to eat and explore. And they seem to not be possessive about the different tunnels. So I'm really excited to see this, especially sped up. It really does give you a big clue about how they get along. So I really encourage everyone to watch my bonding playlist it's just kind of a fun thing to watch. You really will get a kick out of seeing the different personalities and which piggies are able to get along. It's fascinating to me. And remember, it's only a 20% chance that any two boys will get along. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes it's a miracle. But you really should consider it to be a miracle because this isn't really how it is in the wild boy guinea pigs don't always get along and so i'm really grateful and happy that after this period of time they seem to be very comfortable dice is eating hay and shrimp is he's calmed down a little bit they're eating hay together and Really, this is what you want to see. It's okay for them to have some rambunctious moments, and it's going to take, it could take a week. I'm holding my breath this week. You know, I don't want to get too attached or start thinking like, okay, shrimp is now officially part of the herd uh, because anything could happen in the week. And if anything changes, I'll definitely let you guys know. But look at this. They both seem to be very comfortable and it's taken me a little while to edit this video. It is late in the evening now. In fact, it's almost midnight and I just checked on the boys and they were actually laying down together. They were both kind of sharing a tunnel. Dice was in the tunnel and Shrimp was sticking his nose in there and they were both laying down with a very relaxed posture. So. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, that you learned something from it. The best way for me to explain the subtleties of guinea pig bonding, especially boy bonding, is just to do kind of a play-by-play, -play. and that's what you get when you watch the bonding rules video. So I really hope, and the bonding playlist, so I really hope you'll check out the bonding playlist right here. And if you found this video insightful, hit that thumbs up. It really does help the channel. It means a lot to me. So until next time, thanks for watching.